This room is called the Cathedral Room, and we call it that because of size. Okay, I know every cavern has a cathedral room, but we actually got a big reason why we call it like that. But here we got a set of pipe organs. Yeah, back in the 70s, Trigger used to bang on them with the flashlights, kind of like uh, I did in the basement room, but while they were a lot stronger. And when draperies get as long as these, it tends to get very thin and fragile. They didn't know back that then, so you can see that they broke off the tips. Very sad, so that's why we don't do it anymore. We try to preserve these as much as possible. Now, if you want to adjust your eyes to the darkness up here, a very good trick that I learned is to put your hands around your eyes like a pair of goggles and look up for about 15 20 seconds, and your eyes will actually adjust really quickly to the darkness. So if you want, you can look up there and do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is the biggest room in our cavern. It's about 150 feet tall. And if you take a step forward and turn around, you can see up there the natural entrance. That's where those two came down. They had to use ropes to get their way down. And that light up there, that's not daylight. So you'd have to be about halfway through to see actual daylight. It's about 90 feet to the outside. So quite a while to climb. And over there you can see the other end of the octal chimney. That ladder is made with one side earlier. Here we got another description. That's from Kate for me. Those people wiped away the original description that was there and wrote their names over it to steal the credit for this cabin. Well, there are a lot more descriptions from James A. Richards and Charles Morton throughout the cavern, so we know that those guys are the first ones. And over there, we have a splatterite. Yeah, that rock grows on other rocks and formations. And what happens is a drop of water falls from all the way down to the ceiling. Hits the ground and splatters all over the place, and each one of those little water droplets then hits the rock and forms a bump on it. So, see all those bumps on it? Those are formed by tiny water drops. That kind of looks like Cape Coral, but that can grow wherever it wants to. Okay, we do have a lot of fantasy formations in this room. We just got so many, I can't show all of them, just so I'll point out the best ones. Alright, here we got a forest, a uh, rocking and palm flower. Mm -hmm. And inside the forest we got some critters. Here we got a few right head. There's his eye. And his eye's on the back of his head. And his nose and his nostril. And it goes out. And it's drooling because our neck is head is fever. There's the beaver's head. And his back. There's his tail. And the beaver's trying to climb this giant rocker to get back there and see the ton of Gene Simmons. Yeah. And the guy's just a lot of kiss. And here we got the jellyfish. It's a metal wall. Right there we got the nose of the chip mix. <laughs> and our last fancy formation is what we call the ghost of Charles Morton. Like I said, he was the guy that discovered the cavern. And even though he died a long time ago, his ghost is still watching over the place. And you actually can't see it from over there, so I don't know if you want to. You might step a little bit back so that you can see it better. If you don't have to, it's just a suggestion. You can see it right here, there's his head. His eyes, his nose, and his mouth with very much detail. Looks just like a real face. There's his hair with a long feather in it because it was a winter. There's his left arm with dragon pelt over it because it was a hunting man. And his legs. But no feet because it's a ghost. And there's his right arm, stretched out, his fingers pointing towards the exit, saying, Get out of my cupboard! <laughs> well, that's the end of the tour. Hope you had a good time. Hope it was fun, entertaining, and informative. Did you enjoy yourselves? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Well, we still got about three minutes to stand here and take pictures, or if you want to, I can take a picture of your whole group or family, if you ask me. I'll go ahead.